Hello, in the previous video, we learned how to create our employee directory on Adobe XD. In this lesson, we'll be creating our Adobe XD page with HTML. We'll declare all the structure that will allow us to use CSS to target our page. So let's dive into it. We just need to start our structure right away. The first we want to do is to declare our section. Now, the section is going to be where the employee details will reside. So let's see how it works. I'm just going to say section. Okay, so one good practice in order for you to always recall where the start point of your declaration and the end point is your ability to comment the sections or comment the block of HTML. So let's just do it right now. To add the comments, we're going to have less than symbol, then, and that's it. So we're just going to put employee directory. So what we can do is to add the same thing to the end. Okay, so inside this is where we're going to have our content structure. So first we want to have the H1 the h1 then secondly we want to have a form element that will contain the form then the last one we want to have the div that will wrap the content which is all the employees so we can have a class of employee listing Okay, so let's declare our h1. We can just call it employee directory. Then for our form, we can just, since we are not submitting our form, we can just put the hash sign there, then give it a class of search form. Inside our form, let's have input of test. Input of test. We can give it the name of employee search. Then give it ID of search employee. Okay, if we save, we are not seeing anything yet. Basically, because I think the content is hidden at the top. So let's keep working. The next thing is we want to use icon. I'm just gonna use icon from font ensemble. So we can say class FS, FES, then declare uh, F a search icon. So for us to see what's going on, I can just come to this section and just say style, then margin top. Let's just give it from the picture. The margin is much. Let us just reduce it to 100. And if we reduce it to 100, it should take it up a bit. Let's declare our structure for the employees. And for us to do that, we're going to have it under the employee listing. So in the employee listing, we can have a comment just like the way we have it here. So here we can just have employee, employee listing. Employee listing, then we have the end. So in listing our employee, let's just have the class of employee. Now inside the structure is where we are going to have our individual employee. So for us to do that, we need an image. We need the name. We also need the position. So we need like four elements on the div. So we're just going to declare that. So first we need the image tag. The image tag is just going to be image. 
Then secondly, we need an H2, which is going to H2, which is going to have the class of employee name. So we can just say class employee, then name. The next is we're going to have the position. The position, we have the class of position. Then finally, we're going to have the type, which is job type. Also p tag, just going to I'll give it the class of job type. And if we save it, nothing is showing yet because we are yet to insert the actual element. So let's begin, let's add one of our images. So I've stuck images in my image folder. So I have images in my image folder. If you need the Im same images, you can just check the project file and you'll be able to see all the images. If I navigate to the image folder, I want to use the first image to be two. And if you check it, you can see the guy showing already. Now, the alt attribute can actually be the staff's name. So the staff name, name is Odis, then Howard. So I can just copy the same name and give him on the H1. So his position is internist general. Is a full time staff. So you can see that everything about him is showing. I'm just going to duplicate this. Or oh, before we do that, let's just add comment and just title this employee. Then we can just bring this at the end and say employee end. Just save it, the same thing. So we can duplicate this into eight places or nine. You can see, we keep having them. So for clarity, let us just have space to differentiate each of the employee. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need two more. It should be eight. And it should be nine. Okay, so we have nine. All we need to do right now is to change the name and also to update the images so let's try to do that right now the next image we're just going to use 23 then our name is going to be early night you can just copy the same name and have it here a position is industrial organizer. What we can do is always navigate to our design and then copy the content. So I'm just going to copy this and come back to our position and just override. Then she, I think she is a full time. And the next one, just going to navigate to the next, change the name. Change the picture as well. So the picture is going to be 44. Then we need to change the position. She does part time work. So the next is let's try 
and also check for the next user just gonna change the name it's also in tennis general full time work let's change the image to 45 Okay, so let's go to the next user. Just gonna change the name. Changes as well. Then let's look for the position and the business owner. You can type that. You can just type that. Next user. You can leave that six to one. So we're just using the images randomly. Okay, let's make root six to four. I think we miss something here. I thought Jerry Gray. Let's just delete this one. Yes. Cherry Gray is supposed to be 61. Okay. So for roots, let's update the position. As a full time worker, I think we're good. Then let's move to the next user, Benjamin. As for Benjamin, I'm just going to replace the name. Benjamin is a license vocational nurse also a full-time staff and let's say his image is going to be 65 let's just give him image of 80 okay looks more like him the next user Just gonna replace the alt, replace the name, then check for the position, transportation manager. Let's check if it's a full time, it's a full time. Let's just give it the image of, let's say 65. Okay, so let's just do for the last user. For the last user, we can just give the image of 85. Then the name. The position is registered nurse. And let's use studies you can change the image okay i think that works let's change the image to 82. okay so if we check now we have all the nine staffs and what we need to do next is to add a css style so that it looks something similar to what we have on the design and that's how we wrap it up on this one 
If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media handles so you can be notified each time we release a new update. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one.